It's the old one. And this is the new one. What's going on, Post fam? Welcome to the first installment of a new show called Producify. This is a series where I take my subscribers' amateur sounding productions and turn them into a complete pro song. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys my process of refining sounds, and you're gonna see how a pro producer produces a song. If you want your track to be Producified in this series, then join my Discord server, because that's where I talk about all this stuff and show you guys these opportunities. This first track is by Doki. Hi, Asher. Here's a track I've been working on for a month or two. I'm pretty slow at coming up with new ideas and stuff. It's a drum and bass track, which is a genre I haven't ever done before except for some experimentations here and there. I would love to see what you do with it. Without further ado, let's produceify it. All right, first things first, let's take a listen to the original track. Yeah, so I think that's a really cool track by Doki. Um, I have the project here. Yeah, so we're just going to go through it and make it professional. Okay, so a few things I'm hearing right off the bat is that just a lot of these sounds need to be refined and they need to sound a little bit more expensive or pro, as they say. I might just jump around a bit, but why don't we just start at the beginning here? So we got this piano, and to me it sounded a little bit cheap, so I'm going to replace it with a different one. Let's go Keyscape. Okay, let's go into the effects here. I kind of like that filtered effect right at the beginning of the song. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I'm actually going to take that down a bit. Just kind of cleaning up the sound here. I'm going to add a little bit of compression just to make it more EDM-esque. Solid dynamics. Shimmer reverb. I'm going to bring that down a bit. So now we're going to bring our filter back. So why don't we make an automation clip because I'm going to want to automate that. Right click A, copy this value, make it minimum. So now at the bottom, this is where it's going to be. And we'll go back to that later. So let's keep refining some of these sounds at the beginning. I like these pads. They sound really good. Tame some of that high end a little bit. Um, why don't we do like an auto pan? And then we'll just add some fruity reverb just because why not? This is like kind of in the wrong key, but we'll kind of fix that with EQ a little bit. Bring out some of those sparkly high end. Might also add an OTT to bring out the high end. I just want that sparkly high end because these notes are wrong, so. All right, let's work on this lead sound. So I don't really like this sound, but it's gonna try something. I'm gonna try editing it instead of replacing it. So that's kind of cool. It's just like a bell sound. I didn't really like the high end on it because eh, it just kind of sounded kind of cheap. So maybe we can add a distortion. Let's try another distortion just to see what it would sound like. I kind of like it with that distortion. It's kind of sick. I'm going to bring the decay down a little bit on this. And we're going to add another EQ here. And then take out some of that high end. And then we'll add reverb afterward. We'll use some Supermassive. This is a free plugin. We might start off a little bit low pass and then um, open it up as we go. All right, now we got these chords here, which are actually super sick. I really like these. Make some space. We don't want to take up all the mid range for all the instruments. It's kind of too much in the mid range. Um, this is just a simple sine wave. Go massive here. I'm going to grab one of my subs. This one just has a little bit more grit to it. That sub's a lot thicker now. 
Yeah, we might add some different stuff later, but let's move on for now. Let's kind of go into the drums, I think. I guess I'm gonna skip ahead to the drop here. Yeah, these drums are not good. I'm gonna need a kick to be a lot more smooth than that. This one's like really dirty and grungy. So we're just gonna start fresh with that. Let's find a good kick here. Let's try this one at first, see what happens. Asher, kick. I now claim ownership of this kick. I'm gonna try bringing out the high end in this kick a little bit. La Petite Excite, ah, oh, frick. Bring that down a little bit, bring that up a little bit. I don't want it too much in that low end. We're gonna end up changing this a lot later, but might wanna turn the pitch up a little bit. All right, now let's make a cool drum and bass snare here. Let's kind of make something from these. Let's take off his tail. Okay, that's sort of cool. We can add more to that later. A lot of work to do on that, but we will make it happen. Start by sidechaining this kick and bass. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna load my own sidechain. Envelope controller, preset. Basic side chain and do side chain four for sub. And we're gonna wanna add the MIDI note to here. So now the side chain is complete. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's kind of a cool bass. Um, let's see what we can do to it. What is this, a serum? Okay, that's cool. Let's see if we can add some distortion to it. All right, we got a lot more high end out there now. I wonder if we can get some movement out of this. Uh, let's try a high pass, see what happens. Yeah, let's just add some sort of um, LFO to that. I don't know if we need this sliding, that might kind of make it complicated. Uh, let's try throwing a side chain on there too. See what happens. Side chain one. All right, it's starting to come together a bit. Let's do some EQ on here. All right, we just wanna make sure this is clean sounding. So we just have a couple layers here, so I just gotta refine this layer. I really don't like this synth sound. It just kinda sounds kinda cheesy to me. It's mostly this one that I don't like, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for yet, but I'm just gonna open Serum. Let's see, what can we do this sound? Go to the matrix, go back to this chaos thing. And we're gonna go to global master tune and turn the speed up. Well, that's kind of insane. So that sounds like it could be a layer. Side chain on here as well. Pretty dubstep y, but I mean, it's drum and bass, so. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know what that sounds like with the layer. We don't need as much high end because the other one is carrying the high end. Right, I'm gonna take off some of that reverb on the flute one. And now we'll bring back this OTT. I'm gonna replace this with a different reverb. Big vintage verb guy. So I wanna work on this kick a little bit, the EQ on it. There's too much of that. Yeah, I need to take that down. All right, so I'm gonna work on the snare a little bit more. I'm gonna add some layers to it. I'm actually just gonna try replacing this one. So that sounds cool. I kind of want to try the, the unique high pitch snare though. So I'm going to try pitching this one up and see what it sounds like. So that doesn't really sound good. But I'm going to try taking out the high or the low end of this. Cool, now we have the top end of that nice snare. I'm going to try replacing it with this guy. Sounds kind of unique. Sweet, yeah, that's starting to come together. Um, I don't know what this sound is. It's kind of the wrong key. Yeah, that works. Let's go to 
whatever this is. Let's see what it was. Okay, so it's a piano type thing. Let's just go to a simple FL Studio stock piano and we'll mess with it. I'm gonna take off the reverb. And then we'll bring up the velocity to bring out the high end. Um, why don't we try widening it? Sorry, I'm messing with some EQ. Multi-band compressor on there. Serum effects on there. And take out some of that low end. This is more of a mid element, so we don't really need a whole lot of high end. Okay, that's a cool element. I like that. Yeah, a lot of these parts in this song is, are, is really cool. It just needs to be refined. Sound selection and sound design are very important. All right, with this layer. And then what's this one? It's a cool sound. Yeah, those sounds are really cool. This needed to be refined a bit. Sick, this is sounding awesome. Oh my gosh, that sounds like Annalise's voice. What is this? Yep, <laughs> it is Annalise's voice. That's what's up. I think it's out of key though. Da, 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 da. E. And we'll put it back. Just trying to figure out what kind of distortion I can use. There's one on Guitar Rig that has a really cool, crazy sound. And... Okay, that's kind of sick. Yeah, that's what I wanted. All right, so I'm gonna jump back into the build up and we'll work on that a bit more. Let's just start this off with an impact just so that's a little more interesting. And then some sort of high-end thing as well. All right, we're also gonna wanna automate this sub bass. Volume automate that. Start it off down here. Another idea I had for the build-up was to add some sort of bell lead on top of this one. So I'm gonna duplicate this one and make it unique. And we're gonna try to find a bell sound. So this one might be cool if we edit it a bit. Load it into a mixer track. And of course we'll add some OTT just to bring out that reverb. And we'll do another EQ just because it's sounding kind of harsh. All right, so this is where the drums start building up. I'm just gonna use these same ones and then we will, I think we're gonna group them so we can filter them together. All right, we're gonna make a drum bus here. Route both of these guys to it so we can filter them together. But I really like using Pro Q3 for filters. That just sounds really sick. And slowly lift it up. Not really sure how fast yet, but we'll take that as it comes. I'm gonna make a little build up. I wanna just remember what it sounds like here. All right, cool. So I'll make my own build up here. Okay, we're gonna throw this guy here. A nice little transition. I kind of want to treat it delicately because it builds kind of nicely, but I think I do want another impact type thing at the middle. Yeah, that sounds kind of good. And then I'm going to start a snare fill. I kind of want to emulate the later breakbeat kind of sound. So I'm just going to copy these just for reference. I'm first of all going to then EQ. So this sounds cool, and I think I'm gonna do a cool effect to this as a build-up type thing. So I'm gonna record this as audio. The way that I envision this sounding is with like a phaser or a flanger. I'm gonna add another snare layer, trappy snare, just for fun. Try this one. Cool, that's kind of sweet. Okay, so I have an idea for the build-up to make it kind of crazy. We're gonna add one more bar here. Wanna make sure that that filter goes all the way up. Um, pitches up, just for fun. Then like a reverse crash. And then I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna have a filter on there going up as well. So now, before we go back to that, I'm just jumping around a ton. 
I want to hear how these uh, this other sound comes in halfway through the drop. Cool, that's pretty sick. Um, I just want to lower the volume of this and also bring down the out. All right, I think I need a, a longer effects thing here. Let's do something from Splice. Let's do this one. This is a nice, it's always a nice sounding one. Awesome. Yeah, that's sounding super good. Uh, there's a bunch more details I want to do to it, but this is already taking a long time. And so I'm just going to fast forward as I do it for time's sake. But I just have a couple ideas with just extra effects, morphing the sub bass and just cleaning some things up. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll check back. So I just finished doing a bunch of extra details and work on it and it's sounding super dope So now I'm going to bounce it and Master it in a separate project because this one is getting too big. All right So we got the master loaded here in a new project and we're just gonna start making it sound magical Starting off with a little bit of a multi-band compressor here don't want to take too much out just slightly compressing it here and now we'll take it to ozone. I'm gonna turn all these off for now. The mix is already sounding really good. We just gotta do a couple of subtle adjustments. Some slight multi-band compression here. Just barely, just because. A little bit of an exciter. And then we go to the imager. We'll make the, the bass mono um, under 100 hertz. I usually kind of like put this around here, keep this kind of the same. And then this like mid high range, widen it quite a bit and the really high stuff. Not too much, you don't want to ruin the track. I have a suspicion there might be a little bit too much low end, just kind of dips them out around there, make a high pass. Maybe make it dynamic. Kind of like a multi-band compressor on the low end. It's going to allow us to make it a lot louder. All right, sick. Now let's go to the limiter slash saturator. I'm going to go to balanced here. Bring the character down. And her up. And that's looking pretty good. Not going to lie. It's a quick little master. So yeah, let's check out this new version so you guys can see what the whole thing sounds like. Alright guys, that's what I did to the song. I hope you liked it. I'm really proud with how it turned out. Uh, shout out to Doki because that track was sick. It had so many really cool ideas, cool melodies, cool chord progressions, different parts. Like I was saying during the video, all the parts were there. They just needed to be refined. So if one thing you guys can take away from this video is that professional producers refine sounds, really attentive to sound selection and mixing and all that kind of stuff. So just spend extra time on the sounds. Hopefully seeing me do it could help you guys a little bit. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, if you guys want this to happen again, then let me know in the comments 
comments. Let me know on my Discord server. Also, join if you haven't already. I'm looking forward to trying different styles. This is my first time doing drum and bass, so yeah, it was super fun for me. Don't forget, I have a brand new release coming out soon, October 23, so get ready for that. If, if you're watching this after that, then you don't gotta get ready. It's just go listen to it. It's called Deja Vu, and you can see my stuff in action in my own music. If you have a friend who you think would like this channel, send him my videos, send her my videos. That'd be awesome. And if you're not already subscribed, <laughs> dude, subscribe. It's not that hard. And I will see you next time. Peace.